Okay guys, the big release date for Ubuntu 17.10 is upon us and today I'm going to be reviewing Lubuntu 17.10. Lubuntu is the official flavor of Ubuntu that comes installed with the LXDE desktop environment. The LXDE uh, desktop environment is a very lightweight minimal desktop environment mainly designed for older computers or for those speed freaks out there that just you know want their uh, their computer to run lightning fast so I'm going to be installing Lubuntu 1710 today Artful Aardvark inside a virtual machine in my case VirtualBox so let's get started alright so I've downloaded the uh, ISO and it looks like we have a text installer mm. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and choose English here. All right, now we have the option of trying Lubuntu out without installing. Now what this is, is the, uh, loads us into the live environment. If we want to check out LXDE and Lubuntu uh, without actually installing it. But you know what, I'm, I want to go ahead and install it. I don't want to play around in the live environment. So I'm going to go ahead and choose install Lubuntu alright it's hanging for a second there okay looks like it's loading up now okay and the graphical installer has finally loaded here do we want to read the release notes? No, I don't think so. Let's continue. Uh, English is our uh, language of choice here. Download updates while installing Lubuntu. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and update the system uh, after I install it. I don't want to take the time to update it during the installer because it'll take a few extra minutes. And I really don't want to take up that time on this video doing that. Now, install third-party software for graphics, Wi-Fi, MP3, multimedia. Yeah, I want all those proprietary drivers and codecs that we need for all of that. So I will go ahead and tick that on. Click Continue. All right, now we've come to the uh, part of the installer where it asks what we want to do with the disk. Uh, you know, whether we need to do some manual partitioning or not. I'm just going to uh, let Lubuntu have the entire 15 gig hard drive of this virtual machine that I'm installing it in. So I'm just going to choose the uh, first option, Erase Disk and Install Lubuntu. I click Install Now. Alright, and then it has this little warning screen basically telling me it's about to write to the disk. It's going to create a SDA, uh, an extended four partition on SDA. So that's fine. All right, now now we've come to uh, time zones. It has correctly chosen the central time zone in the U.S. for me, so nothing to do here. I just click continue. Keyboard layout. It has chosen English U.S. for me. I can test it out in this little field here, and that seems to be working fine. All right, we need to choose our username. I'm going to choose Lubuntu for a username, if I can type it right. I'm struggling here today. And I choose a very simple password. I am not going to choose to log in automatically. I want it to ask me a password to log in. And that's it for the installer. It's going to uh, probably run somewhere between five and ten minutes uh, to install everything so I'm gonna pause the video for a minute or two okay guys that install uh, I, I think it even took five minutes that was a very quick installation now it's asking us to reboot the machine you always have to reboot the machine after you install an operating system so I'm gonna take a second and restart the machine alright we've restarted the machine and uh, we'll wait for our newly installed Lubuntu 1710 to boot up.
And all right, that was a really fast boot up time. Uh, let me go ahead and log in. All right, and now we have logged in to the Lubuntu desktop. This is the LXDE desktop environment. Now I don't like the small screen resolution here. I need to install some guest editions in VirtualBox to get the proper resolution of this screen. So I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to fix that. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Uh, I took a couple of minutes to uh, go ahead and install the VirtualBox guest editions to fix the uh, the screen resolution here. That's not something you would have to do if you're installing Lubuntu on a physical machine. That's strictly for VirtualBox only. So now let me log in to our Lubuntu 17.10 desktop and uh, it's a very attractive desktop for a minimal lightweight desktop uh, a really nice looking desktop I'm gonna go ahead and go through the menu and, and uh, tell you what is installed by default under accessories we have archive manager for zip and unzip we have a character map we have a disk utility we have our file manager which is PC Man FM, a very, very lightweight file manager, but I, I really like PC Man FM. I use PC Man FM on a lot of my uh, installs that I do on my personal machines. I use it on OpenBox and Fluxbox installs or uh, Tiling Window Manager installs. I usually install PC Man FM. So I really like the PC Man FM file manager. All right, also under accessories, we have our calculator, image viewer, leaf pad. Now, leaf pad is the text editor in LXDE, a really nice minimal text editor. All right, also under accessories, we have our, a setup for hotkeys, you know, to manage uh, shortcuts. And we also have XPad, which is a uh, note taking utility. Under graphics, we have our document viewer. We have our MT Paint graphic editor, <clears throat> excuse me, and Simple Scan, which is a scanning utility. Under Internet, we have Firefox as our default web browser. Pigeon Internet Messenger. How many people uh, use uh, in, uh, instant messaging anymore? Almost no one, so they probably could leave this off the ISO. Silfeed. Silfeed is a lightweight email client. Transmission is a BitTorrent client. Uh, Stillfeed, the email client. Uh, most people don't use uh, email clients, the desktop email clients anymore. Everybody uses webmail these days. They could have left that one off, off the ISO too, I think. Office. We have Abbey Word, which is a word processor, lightweight word processor, and Numeric, which is a lightweight minimal uh, spreadsheet program. So no LibreOffice. LibreOffice is a little bit too uh, big and robust of a program to install on a minimal desktop environment like LXDE. I mean you can do it. It's an easy thing to do if your machine supports it. But again, LXDE and Lubuntu are really designed for really old machines that are low on system resources, that don't have a lot of memory, don't have a lot of uh, CPU power. So no LibreOffice installed by default, but if you have a machine that can run it LibreOffice is easy to uh, get installed. Sound and video. We have the Audacious uh, music player. A very nice lightweight music player. Love Audacious. We have Gnome MPV, which is uh, the uh, video player, I believe. Yep. And also under sound and video, we have GUVC View, which I believe is a, uh, <coughs> is a webcam uh, program. I'm actually using it right now, you see this little square that I'm in. This is installed on my physical machine that I use just to make these uh, videos. They have that program installed by default on Lubuntu. That's kind of strange, but hey, that's kind of cool too. Pulse Audio Volume Control. XF Burn, which is a uh, disc burning utility. It's actually one of the XFCE uh, programs, I believe, but that, that's a, it's still a lightweight disk burning utility. System tools. We have uh, system tools to configure the light DM login manager. We have our terminal, which is the LX ter terminal. This is the default terminal in the LXDE desktop environment. It's a really nice, lightweight uh, terminal. 
We have uh, network configuration, printers, we have software. Uh, let me click on the software. And I believe this is the GNOME software. Yeah, it's the same uh, software center that we also saw in uh, Zubuntu. I think we also saw it in Ubuntu. I could be wrong about that, and I, I'm, I'm almost positive we saw it in mainline Ubuntu 17.10 that I reviewed. So they're all using this uh, GNOME software. All right, back to the menu. Under System Tools, we have the Synaptic Package Manager. I love the Synaptic Package Manager. It's one of my uh, favorite uh, installers for installing and removing uh, software. So very intuitive, you know, very easy to use. Not too many distros use the Synaptic Package Manager by default anymore, but but I still I, I still tend to install it on a lot of my my machines. Under Preferences, we have Additional Drivers, Bluetooth Manager, Customized Look and Feel, we have Desktop Preferences, yada, yada, yada. We also have settings for the Open Box Window Manager. Open Box is the Window Manager for the LXDE desktop environment, and I love the Open Box Window Manager. We have uh, Screen Saver. We have Software and Updates, which is the same Software and Updates program that you see in Mainline Ubuntu, Zubuntu, etc. So, those of you familiar with the uh, Ubuntu user space uh, are, are going to be comfortable running Lubuntu. And that's basically it for the programs installed by default. Not a lot of programs installed by default. The ISO I downloaded was under 1 gig. It was 900 and some odd megabytes. So pretty small, pretty small disk image. Uh, but again, you can install as much software as you want. Getting, getting software installed on Linux is not very difficult. You just go to the software center and do a quick search, click the install button, and away you go. But they don't want to install too much by default on Lubuntu because it's designed to be lightweight and for older machines. Older machines sometimes are limited on hard disk space. So you don't want to just add the entire kitchen sink of you know software suites. All in all, for those uh, that have run Lubuntu in the past, the LXDE desktop environment doesn't change very much. Uh, it's basically the same LXDE environment uh, that I ran five years ago, uh, at even ten years ago. It looks basically the same. LXDE doesn't change much. It's a very simple, traditional desktop environment. The tools. Uh, are, are very simple and easy to use, lightweight. Uh, the install process took five minutes. Very, very fast install process. For those of you with really old hardware, even machines that you think are so old, they will not run any operating system, even other Linux operating systems, give Lubuntu a try. I think you'll be surprised at what you can run with Lubuntu. Alright guys, peace.